There are a number of ways that you could look at this film. Before you talk about them, though, we'd like for you to know something about the film. A film about social responsibility. It's not a term people use very often in everyday conversation. As we see it, Ed is caught in a dilemma. A social responsibility, or what he owes to the society he lives in, demands that Ed somehow stop Scott from dealing to kids. But personal loyalty, what he owes to a friend, demands that he do nothing. If Ed turns in Scott, he loses a friend. Maybe he loses other friends, too. When Barbara says people don't like a guy who would bust a friend, you get the feeling she might not like such a guy. But if Ed follows Scott's advice and simply forgets what he has seen, well, suppose later Ed learns that some kid Scott has sold pills to is OD'd. He gets a lot of pressure from his friends. Scott lays it on hard and heavy. Bobby and then Barbara seem to have no trouble deciding where Ed's responsibility lies. And the kind of pressure they put on him is very hard to resist. Well, put yourself in Ed's place. What would you do? Suppose you found out that Scott was selling pills to your 12-year-old brother. What would you do then? Would that change your responsibility? One evening a few years ago, a young woman was assaulted and pursued down a New York street, repeatedly stabbed, and finally killed. Throughout her ordeal, which lasted nearly an hour, she repeatedly called for help. More than a dozen nearby residents heard her cries, but nobody even summoned the police until it was too late. And what reasons might people have in a situation like that for not trying to help? Have you ever witnessed something involving strangers and thought maybe you should get involved? Did you get into it? What made you decide one way or the other? Now, some argue that only a very few of us recognize an obligation to people beyond our immediate circle of family, friends, and associates. In other words, that very few of us have a strong sense of social responsibility. Do you agree?